Hey Tim with Honest Junkies. I get a lot of questions about my windshield wiper serve, so I decided to make another video on it. This week I'm going to show you how to do it with fast backspin. When I was first learning how to do the windshield wiper serve, I actually taught myself how to do the, the fast version of it first before learning how to do the short version of it. And this is actually how I recommend uh, when I'm teaching players and coaching them, I actually recommend doing the fast one first because it's easier to get used to like the motion and, and the spin where the short one is, is pretty tough to learn right off the bat. So if you're just learning this serve, I actually recommend doing the fast version of it in this video first before moving on to the short, uh, the short backspin. Doing the windshield wiper serve fast actually has quite a few unique benefits that some of the other serves don't have and only a couple of downsides to it. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, let's start with some of the benefits of doing the windshield wiper serve with fast backspin. One of my favorite things about this serve is that you can just kind of shoot it out and you don't need to contain it or control it. The windshield wiper serve has a lot of motion in it and when you try to be real careful, it's easy to make mistakes. So when I'm doing the fast version, I can just kind of whip it out and shoot it out. And I don't have to really be super careful about keeping it short and, and controlling where the bounce is or anything like that. I'm just kind of whipping it out. Another advantage of this serve is that it's fast and you can catch your opponent off guard. This really goes for any fast serve, but you're really, the goal is really just to kind of catch your opponent off guard or maybe try to catch them stepping in for a short serve. Another advantage of this serve is that you're able to generate a ton of spin on the ball. Whenever you're serving out with any of your serves, you can swing harder and use more wrist motion, but those really go hand in hand with the windshield wiper serve because the windshield wiper serve already has so much motion and so much, so much wrist that you're able to just crank it out and just you don't have to control it or contain it at all. Just the more wrist motion and the, the harder you swing, the better the serve is going to be and the more spin you're going to have. Another advantage I'd like to add that kind of goes hand in hand with the last one is I'm going to show you how to do backspin with this serve. So not only is your opponent going to have to deal with all the side spin and the speed, but they're also going to have to figure out how to handle the backspin, which can be really tough, especially when the ball is coming fast at your opponent. Let's move on to the mechanics of the stroke, but first go ahead and hit that like button and share this video with your friends. I'm trying really hard to grow my channel and I'm really pretty much just counting on the support of my viewers to do it. Um, so if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button, share it, and let's get going on the stroke. All right, the first thing I'm going to show you is the grip. This is really important with the windshield wiper serve is you want to change the grip on this serve. So if you're a shake hands player, you're going to just rotate the grip in your hand. So just like this, rotate in your hand so that the, the index finger is more on the side. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to lay the wrist back. Um, and that's really important for the short serve, but you want your short serves and your fast serves to look the same. So it'll allow you to wrist, lay the wrist back and it'll also help you get good uh, side to side motion in the wrist. The next thing I'm going to show you is the stance. So I'm actually going to start with my left foot kind of in front of my, my right foot, almost like I'm facing away from the table. And as I swing through this, uh, through the serve, my left foot is going to come back and I'm going to come down on the ball. So it kind of comes this way and then down this way. You definitely want to use lots of, of leg. So you'll, it's almost like a squat where you'll start here. I actually come up a little bit on my toes and then I'm going to come down pretty hard. So I, I want to have my body really involved on this serve. Okay, so the stroke on the fast windshield wiper serve is a little bit different than the short version of it. So when you're doing the windshield wiper short, you're going to be starting on the side and kind of coming across this way, where on the fast version of it, you're actually going to be going more forward. And instead of coming across, you're going to actually hit the side of the ball a little bit more. And the reason for that is because if you're, kind of, if you're coming to the side, you're not going to get that forward energy nearly as well. And you're really trying to shoot this one out. So as you're doing this one, you're actually going to be coming forward and kind of to the side. And that's, that'll, the side motion will hit the the side spin and the forward energy will get the ball to move forward. To get backspin on this serve, there are several different ways to do it and I'll show you how to do each one, but it's really up to you on which one you choose and it's really just kind of personal preference. So the first way is if you hit the bottom of the ball, you're going to get backspin. So as you're coming through the ball, you can hit the side and then lay the wrist back. That's, that's one reason why it's so important to have that winch, uh, to have that similar style grip with the finger on the side is it'll allow you to lay the wrist back a little bit and hit the southern hemisphere of the ball. So if you're hitting, 
if you're if you're coming in and hitting the the back of the ball, you'll you won't get any uh, backspin. If you hit the bottom of the ball, you'll get backspin, and then if you hit kind of like this corner over here, you'll get the side spin and the backspin. Another way to get the backspin is to start high, and you can come down the back of the ball. So when if you think about backspin like a traditional push the ball is going to spin this way right so if you're hitting underneath it you'll get the ball to spin that way and if you come down the back of the ball you'll also get the ball to spin that way so it, you can you can start high and kind of hit the the side of the ball and and come down the back of the ball at the same time so it's maybe a little tough to understand but that's, that's a really good way to get backspin on fast serves. Generally, I would teach you to, like if you're doing a pendulum serve, you're gonna hit the bottom of the ball. But if you're doing a fast pendulum serve, you might come down the back of the ball and hit down the back to get the backspin. Same with this one. So you're, you might be starting high and then coming down the back of the ball to generate that backspin. And I actually find this a little bit easier to do, but there isn't really a wrong way to do it. If you wanna hit the bottom of the ball, um, that also will work. Another thing with this serve is don't be afraid to swing hard and don't be afraid to use as much wrist as you possibly can. Some serves you might want to hold back a little bit, not with this serve. Use that wrist, use it to your full advantage, generate as much spin as you can. This serve is really more about generating that weird, like hard to read side spin and that hard to return back spin. So don't wimp out on it, just, just let the wrist go, swing hard through the stroke and you don't have to worry about it being short, just, just swing and let it out. Here's a short demonstration of the serve so you can see it in slow motion. You can see I'm coming down, the, down from above it a little bit, not much, but just a little bit. Let's move on to a few disadvantages to the serve that you'll just want to be kind of careful of or at least be mindful of so you can, you can account for them. The first is that it's kind of obvious you're serving out so you're giving your opponent the opportunity to attack. And one thing I always like to teach is if you're an offensive player, you want to try to get the first attack as much as possible. So if you're serving out, you have that chance that they're going to loop it and you might lose out on the first attack. The next disadvantage that you should be aware of on this serve is that there's still a lot of motion in, in the stroke. So whenever there's a lot of motion, it's easy to make unforced errors or kind of just miss hit it on your racket. The last disadvantage that is worth mentioning is that you're serving this ball with a lot of spin and with a lot of speed. So because it's faster, you'll have less time to react. And also because of all that spin, a lot of times the return will have kind of like a weird funky spin on it. So just kind of watch the ball real close for your, for your follow-up shot because the ball a lot of times isn't going to bounce naturally. Just, you just got to really watch it. Recapping on what you've learned today, this is a great serve to kind of throw at your opponents to catch them off guard with a really pretty tough spinny serve. You'll definitely want to use your legs quite a bit on this. You can change your grip. I, this is one that I actually really recommend doing, uh, changing your grip. You want to mix this serve with, with the, the short serve version of it. So you can kind of do some short serves and then do some fast serves, just kind of mix those. Another thing is don't be afraid to swing hard and use a lot of wrist on this stroke. So you're already using a lot of wrist with the windshield wiper serve, but when you're serving it out, you don't, you don't have to like contain it at all. Just, just whip it out, swing hard, use that wrist, generate as much speed and as much spin as possible on the serve. Don't, yeah, just don't hold back. 
That's all for this week's video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with your friends if you know anyone who might like to serve. And if you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments. I try to respond to all the questions in there, so I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you next week. Thanks. You're expecting me to do squats like you. <laughs> Babe, I'm nine months pregnant. You're nine, almost ten months pregnant. <laughs> I am 39... <laughs> And a half weeks pregnant. And a half weeks pregnant. We're adding this in the video. Joey is making me do squats.